Imagine this, a landscape shrouded in mist, alive with the sounds of the wild. In this ancient world, two human groups meet for the first time. Neanderthals, sturdy and powerful, and Homo sapiens, taller and more agile. You might have heard the stories portraying Neanderthals as primitive cave dwellers, but recent discoveries reveal a much more complex reality. A reality that challenges our long-held beliefs and shows just how much they shared with us. Their blood, their culture, and their legacy continue to echo within us. If you are curious to uncover these hidden chapters of our shared history, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights into the ancient world. Neanderthals, or Homo neanderthalensis, have long been the subject of debate among scientists. Were they a separate species entirely, or a subspecies of modern humans, Homo sapiens neanderthalensis? The truth lies somewhere in the shared characteristics between the two. Recent evidence points to their profound genetic and morphological overlap, blurring the lines that once set them apart so distinctly. Their bones speak of a robust physique adapted for survival in cold, rugged climates, while their facial features show signs of both strength and subtle intelligence. This overlapping lineage isn't just seen in their bones, but also in their DNA. Genetic studies reveal that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens share more than just physical traits. They share bloodlines. The genetic blueprint of Neanderthals shows traces that remain in modern human populations to this day, hinting at interwoven histories that extend far beyond a simple split on the evolutionary tree. Picture this, the excavation of an ancient cave in Siberia, where scientists unearthed the remains of a Neanderthal woman over 100,000 years old. To their surprise, analysis reveals she had type A blood. This wasn't an isolated finding. Another Neanderthal woman from a cave in Croatia, her remains dating back 64,000 years, had type B blood. These discoveries challenged the old assumption that all Neanderthals were type O and painted a picture of a population more genetically diverse than previously thought. What's more intriguing is the rare and now almost lost rhesus blood type, known as rhesus plus incomplete, found in these ancient remains. For years, this type was only known in certain indigenous populations, such as those in Papua New Guinea and Australia. The discovery that Neanderthals shared this rare trait suggests that their genetic makeup was more intricate and had deeper ties to modern humans than scientists once believed. These findings hint at a complex web of shared heritage. It suggests that the ancestors of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens already had a full range of blood types before they diverged. This discovery brings a new layer of understanding to how these ancient humans were connected and how their legacy is woven into the fabric of our genetic code. Now picture a world where Neanderthals and Homo sapiens met not as strangers, but as kin with shared origins. Despite their similarities, the mingling of their bloodlines was not without its complexities. Genetic evidence reveals that interbreeding between the two groups came with significant challenges, challenges that affected both their offspring and their ability to thrive together. One of the most striking findings is the risk of hemolytic disease in newborns a condition arising from mismatched blood types between Neanderthal and Homo sapiens parents. Studies suggest that such complications may have limited the extent of their genetic mixing. The odds were steep. There was a one in five chance that a Neanderthal Homo sapiens pairing would result in a baby facing serious health issues due to these blood type mismatches. This could explain why, despite genetic exchange, the interbreeding remained selective and infrequent. Yet their encounters were impactful. The gene flow between Neanderthals and early modern humans was enough to introduce new traits into Homo sapiens populations, including characteristics related to skin tone and immune response. These genetic legacies are clues, showing that while interbreeding posed biological challenges, it also enriched the resilience and diversity of future generations. The story of their unions is a testament to the delicate balance between connection and survival in the ancient world. Imagine the life of a Neanderthal mother, her days filled with the struggle for survival in an unforgiving landscape. Her child, wide-eyed and curious, grows quickly, too quickly, some might say. Unlike modern human children, Neanderthal infants developed at a rapid pace, their growth placing significant physical demands on their mothers. This was not just a matter of nurturing, 
but an all-consuming task that required a diet rich in protein and fat to sustain both mother and child. Neanderthal mothers likely faced unique challenges to meet these nutritional needs. Hunting was essential, as the calorie requirements to produce milk and support the growth of their infants were substantial. These energy-intensive demands might have extended the intervals between births, contributing to lower overall birth rates. For Neanderthals, the cycle of life was intense and driven by necessity. Their large brains required nourishment that only a high-calorie diet could provide, making survival a family-wide effort. Researchers hypothesized that this rapid growth in early childhood, paired with the physical and dietary demands on mothers, played a role in shaping the Neanderthal way of life. Each child was a testament to resilience, a blend of innate strength and the determined care of a mother who adapted to the harsh conditions around her. It's a reminder that the bond between parent and child was as fierce then as it is now, underscored by the challenges of raising a family in a world far different from our own. Picture this, a quiet evening in the dense, mist-covered forests of ancient Europe. The fire crackles, sending sparks into the dark sky as two figures sit across from each other, one a Neanderthal, the other a Homo sapiens. Their eyes meet, and though their languages are different, there is a moment of understanding. This imagined scene represents what many researchers believe might have happened when these two distinct human groups first came face to face. Early encounters between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens were likely marked by mutual curiosity and cautious observation. The Neanderthals, with their deep-set eyes and powerful frames, carried the legacy of generations shaped by ice and hardship. The Homo sapiens, leaner and quicker, brought with them new tools, new techniques, and a different way of seeing the world. Though their gestures and languages may have differed, the desire to connect was universal. These hypothetical meetings hint at shared experiences, sitting around the same fire, exchanging glances and finding common ground. Gesture-based communication and shared rituals could have bridged the initial gap, laying the foundation for alliances and friendships. The exchange of knowledge, from hunting strategies to survival tips, may have strengthened both groups, each contributing something unique to the shared struggle against nature. Over time, these interactions left their mark. Traditions evolved and stories were passed down through generations. The merging of their worlds did not erase their differences, but created a richer, more complex human experience. These moments of connection, whether fleeting or lasting, remind us that even in the distant past, the desire to reach across divides and share in the essence of life was as timeless as humanity itself. Imagine sifting through ancient remains in a quiet laboratory, piecing together fragments of the past to unlock secrets buried for tens of thousands of years. Genetic analysis has revealed something remarkable. Neanderthal DNA is not just a relic of a bygone species, but a living part of us. The story of how their legacy intertwined with Homo sapiens begins with interbreeding that left subtle yet lasting marks in our genetic code. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence is found in mitochondrial DNA, passed down exclusively from mother to child. Research has shown that early Homo sapiens inherited mitochondrial DNA from Neanderthal mothers, indicating that gene flow went both ways. This discovery reshapes our understanding of their relationships, suggesting that interbreeding was not merely a rare occurrence, but an integral part of their interactions. Even more surprising was the analysis of why chromosomes in ancient Neanderthal remains. When scientists sequenced these chromosomes, they found them to be more similar to those of early Homo sapiens than expected. This hints at a significant and frequent exchange of genes between Neanderthal males and Homo sapiens females, so much so that as Neanderthal populations dwindled, their original Y chromosomes were replaced by those of modern humans. These genetic imprints tell a story of adaptation and connection, showcasing how our ancestors' mingling helped shape modern human diversity. The genetic legacy we carry, from immune responses to physical traits, paints a vivid picture of a time when survival meant collaboration, where the line between Neanderthal and Homo sapiens blurred in ways that still impact us today. Their influence is more than a footnote in human history. It is an enduring part of who we are. Picture this, the ancient icy landscapes where Neanderthals thrived for millennia, adapting to the unforgiving cold with resilience. But around 40,000 years ago, 
nature dealt a blow even they could not withstand. A series of volcanic eruptions, including the massive Campanian Ignimbrite near present-day Naples, blanketed Europe in ash and transformed lush forests into barren wastelands. The sudden decline in plant life triggered a chain reaction. Fewer herbivores meant scarce hunting opportunities for Neanderthals. Researchers analyzing sediment layers from this period found ash-rich deposits devoid of pollen, signifying a collapse in local ecosystems. Even for these cold-adapted beings, the combination of dwindling food sources and rapid environmental shifts was overwhelming. Climate changes during the glacial period only worsened their plight, introducing abrupt temperature fluctuations that left little time for recovery or adaptation. Despite their physical prowess and long history of survival, the Neanderthals faced an insurmountable challenge. Their decline was not solely due to competition with Homo sapiens, but was hastened by these sudden, catastrophic natural events. This story underscores the precarious balance of survival in ancient times and reminds us that even the most resilient species can fall victim to the unpredictable forces of nature. Imagine the first depictions of Neanderthals, stooped figures dragging their knuckles, barely more than brutes shuffling through a prehistoric world. For much of the 19th and early 20th centuries, this was the prevailing image, reinforced by flawed reconstructions of their skeletons and tales that painted them as unintelligent and savage. But new discoveries have shattered these misconceptions, revealing Neanderthals as complex beings with their own culture and sophistication. Recent 3D reconstructions of Neanderthal skeletons, such as the well-known La Chapelle aux Saint Remains, show that they stood upright with a posture indistinguishable from modern humans. They were not the hunched, primitive beings once imagined, but were capable, intelligent, and adaptable. Their tools, art, and burial practices suggest a depth of culture that points to symbolic thought and social bonds akin to those of Homo sapiens. The outdated image of Neanderthals as brutish has been replaced by a narrative that highlights their ingenuity and resilience. They thrived for hundreds of thousands of years, surviving harsh climates, adapting their hunting strategies and forming close-knit communities. The shift from viewing them as lesser beings to understanding them as sophisticated and intelligent reflects our evolving knowledge of human history. This renewed perspective not only acknowledges Neanderthal's contributions to our shared ancestry, but also enriches our understanding of what it means to be human. Their story, once defined by misconceptions, is now a testament to their complexity and connection to us. A reminder that our lineage is intertwined, filled with strength, survival, and shared humanity. Picture the story of humanity, not as a straightforward path, but as a tapestry woven with the threads of multiple human species, each contributing to the rich pattern of our shared history. The Neanderthals, once misunderstood and dismissed as primitive, now stand as a testament to resilience, adaptability, and deep connection. Their legacy is present in our genes, our shared traits, and the stories still told by our very existence. From their physical endurance to their cultural exchanges with Homo sapiens, Neanderthals have left an indelible mark on what it means to be human. As we learn more about their sophisticated lives, we are reminded that the boundaries between us and them were never as clear as once believed. The echoes of their lives, shaped by love, survival, and community, still resonate within us. Their story is not just one of extinction, but of unity, shared struggle, and the profound human capacity for connection across time. If you've enjoyed exploring these hidden chapters of our past, don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the fascinating journey of human evolution. And if you have questions or thoughts, share them in the comments below. We'd love to hear your perspective and keep the conversation going.